I don't think it is the case that they are not listening. I think they are. In fact, we have managed to move the debate from where it was to where it is. When we started this debate, the whole proposition of reforming the international financial architecture, nobody used to listen to it. Today, every country from the US to, um, uh, to European Union to uh, China, all of them have come to the conclusion that what we were saying, that the current international financial architecture is not fair, everybody has come to agree with us. And in fact, they are now asking, what is the mechanism of us to reform this financial architecture? So that's number one. I think we have a win there, but everybody now agrees there is a problem. This international financial architecture is not fair. That's number one. Number two, Already, there is a realization that what we have been saying, that we need more concessional resources, there is already a convergence of thoughts. And I could see it last uh, two weeks when we had the IDA conference in Nairobi, that there is now a clear realization that African countries, um, countries in uh, the developing world, need concessional, long-term, adequate resources. And number three, the World Bank, the IMF actually, has already come round the SDR, special drawing rights, that initially benefited countries that did not need the money. Now, they have agreed that we need to rechannel the SDRs through our proposal was Africa Development Bank, because that way it will get to more developing countries like Kenya, Rwanda, and others, and it will get to those countries at concessional rates. And again, those resources can be leveraged so that we get more resources into our, uh, into, into our economies.